Hey everyone, Chris here. This summer I had an amazing trip to Germany and I'm so excited to finally share those memories with you. This is my very first vlog on the channel and honestly, filming and editing, it was way tougher than I expected. Since I'm totally new to this, but I gave it my all and I hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more vlogs in the future. And now before we get into my journey, huge thanks to the sponsors of this video, Tomman and Austrian Audio with their new HiX20 headphones. These closed back headphones are perfect for audio professionals, content creators and music lovers. The HiX20 features the same HiX drivers that Austrian Audio uses in their higher-end models, delivering detailed sound with balanced beats, highs and a powerful bass, all without breaking the bank. Built to last with metal movable parts, they are lightweight at just 255 grams and really comfortable thanks to memory foam ear pads, perfect for long sessions. Their foldable design makes them easy to store or carry around, and the detachable 3-meter cable adds flexibility for any workspace. If you are looking for professional headphones on a budget, you should definitely check them out. Hit the link in the description to learn more and get yours from Tomon, with worldwide shipping available. And now let's get straight to the video, hope you enjoy! Hey everyone! So my European trip starts with Hungary. I'll be passing through on our way to Austria as uh, Vienna is my first destination. I'm really excited to be there, but I'm a bit anxious because uh, I've heard that there are a long line at the borders. They said that it can be up to 6-8 hours just to wait. I really hope it goes faster and I will be able to enjoy the city soon. The line at the border was super long, but luckily I got through faster than expected. And I even got to pet a dog while waiting. Once the border is finally crossed, it was still a couple more hours of driving to Vienna. The plan was to explore the city, but after a 10-hour trip, I was too tired, so I just grabbed a quick salad and crashed. Finally, I'm in Vienna. It took around 8 hours to get there, so not so fast. And I was so tired yesterday, so I went straight to the bed. Now I plan to explore the city a little bit. Uh, and have some breakfast, of course. Vienna city center is full of stunning architecture. The buildings seem to tell a story at every corner. In the heart of it all, I found a huge and very green park. It's so calm there, and the way nature blends with the architecture gives this place a really special vibe. It was a truly inspiring morning. And finally, breakfast time! Now my energy is restored and I'm ready to move on. I wish I had more time to explore Vienna, but I had to keep going. Next stop, Nuremberg, Germany. German autobahns are known for fast driving, but of course things didn't go as planned. There was an accident on the road, then a ton of traffic, and then it started pouring rain, which made everyone drive super slow. The road ended up longer than expected, but finally I'm in Nürburgring. I couldn't believe how hungry I was. I looked up the nearest restaurant that was open, and it turned out to be an Asian restaurant, which sounded great. The ramen I had was really delicious. So, today is Monday, and I'm still in Nürburgring. <laughs> also, today is a really big day, and I'm pretty excited because I'm going to Bonn, it's another town, city uh, in Germany, and I'm going to see corn and spirit box. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Maybe uh, I'll come a bit earlier to the concert, we'll see. So yeah, stay tuned. I finally made it to my hotel in Bonn with barely any time to spare, so I freshened up super quick and headed straight to the concert. The show was outside, and thank goodness the weather was sunny. Before the show, I got to meet the guys from Corn and Spirit Box in person, 
I didn't feel much because I was just too excited about the whole experience. Ray even showed me his drum kit, and we had an awesome chat about drumming. And then the show begins. Come on! Come on! Come on! I can't even tell you how happy I was that day. Seeing Korn live and getting to meet them in person was just unforgettable. The guys totally crushed it on stage and the vibe was amazing. I seriously didn't want the night to end, but eventually it was time to head back to the hotel and get some rest for the adventures waiting for me the next day. I just woke up uh, after the show and that was so amazing. I can't believe. Um, I just don't have enough words to explain what I felt that night. I was watching the show right in the side from the stage and the sound was so cool. Uh, so it was really great that Horn allowed me to watch this show literally from the stage <laughs> that was awesome Ray is an incredible drummer and the kindest person I've ever met uh, he gifted me this drum hat with all signatures um, of core members that was so nice look at that and also I've got some core merch drumsticks uh, some little things from the tour, so that was really, really cool. The city of Bonn where the show was is just a 20 minutes drive from Cologne, so I couldn't miss the chance to stop by and see the world-famous cathedral. This place is incredible. The stained glass windows are really amazing, and the way the light changes inside creates such a magical vibe. Feeling inspired by Cologne and its cathedral, I set off for my next stop. Give a music. Hey! So I arrived uh, in Bad Elster last night. It's um, another small town in Germany. And today I plan to visit Give a music. I think it's gonna be fun. I plan to make a lot of videos from there. So yeah, let's go. Of course, I needed to have breakfast first. And now, off we go. When I arrived, I was greeted by Nico, who handles artist relations at Giva. He gave me an awesome tour of all the facilities. Here we can explore the space where they handcraft string instruments. It's incredible to see the artistry and skill that goes into each piece. Then, after walking through endless warehouses, we finally arrived at my special place. The room full of drums. Of course, I couldn't leave without trying out some of the new gear. I tested their new cymbals and a few of their latest drum kits. We also had a great chat about the equipment, and I learned a few secrets that I hope to share with you soon. It was an incredible experience. Huge thanks to Nico and all the guys from Giva Music for inviting me. It was such a fantastic opportunity to visit the Giva Manufactory and meet so many awesome people in person. Next up is Berlin, where I'll be staying for three days. I don't have any solid plans yet, and honestly, I haven't really thought about what I'll do there. But that's the fun of it, right? I'm sure Berlin will have plenty of surprises waiting for me. First, I decided to visit the city center and check out some of the most famous spots. So, I took a walk from Potsdamer Platz, past the Brandenburg Gate, and went all the way to the Berliner Dome. I'm excited to explore the city further and hopefully find some hidden gems along the way. Some of my German friends recommended to check out the Berlin Zoo. I have to say, I'm not a big fan of zoos, because I know that many of them have terrible conditions for animals. However, the Berlin Zoo looks very comfortable, and I know that many animals were brought here to help save their species. You know, I really love animals and always try to help stray dogs and cats. It's inspiring to see the conservation efforts in action. I'm looking forward to learning more about the animals and their stories, while enjoying a day surrounded by nature.
the zoo was so big that I ended up spending the entire day there. Over the next few days, I wandered through Berlin, checking out some vinyl record stores. My personal favorite was the iconic Cortex Records, known for its great selection of punk, hardcore and underground music. I didn't find what I was looking for, but it was fun browsing and soaking up local music scene, even without picking up any new records. Most of the other stores seemed to focus on electronic music, which isn't really my cup of tea. On my last day in Berlin, I visited a few contemporary art galleries and did some shopping in a few local stores. I really loved that there are so many cute little shops with all sorts of small adorable things, exactly the kind of stuff I love. From unique souvenirs to handmade crafts, I couldn't resist picking up a few items to take home. It was the perfect way to wrap up my time in the city, combine my love for art and finding charming little treasures. I can't wait to get back to Berlin, there is still so much more to explore. However, my time in Berlin came to an end, and it was time to head to my next stop, Bamberg. It's a small town, and I was really surprised by how many people were around, especially since I arrived on Sunday. I heard the towns in Germany usually quiet down on Sundays, with most shops and restaurants closed, but not this time. I found out I had arrived right in the middle of annual festival. It was so cool to see those beautiful old streets full of people, with delicious smells coming from restaurants and street food everywhere. And there was live music too. It was an awesome festival, and of course the party kept going through the night. I didn't expect Bamberg to be so vibrant, but I had to wrap things up since I needed to get up early the next morning to visit Thoman, the biggest music store in Europe. It's my first time here, and I didn't expect this place to be so massive. They even have their own office building, and the warehouse is almost factory-sized. Now we're heading to their studios, and let me tell you, this place is so cool. It has several different rooms for recording and filming, all packed with top-notch equipment. I was lucky enough to shoot a video here, you might have already seen it on my Instagram. Make sure to check the link in the description if you missed it. And now to the main part, the store itself. As I mentioned before, I've heard it's the biggest music store in Europe, but seeing it in person is something else. They have every instrument you can think of, and not just one of each. I mean, they even have a separate room just for xylophones, can you believe that? Or take a look at the guitar section, this area is absolutely huge. I've never seen so many guitars in one place. What you see in the video is not even half of the entire guitar department. And on top of that, they have a section of signature and premium guitars. It's like a real boutique. The store is truly massive. Showing it all would take a whole separate video. But for us, it's time to head to our main destination. The drum department. There are not just ton of drums, they've got literally everything you can think of, and even some stuff you've probably never heard of. Acoustic kits, electronic kits, cymbals, snares, percussion, pedals, you name it. It really feels like if they don't have it, it just doesn't exist. And the coolest part, you can try everything out. They have separate rooms where you can even put together a kit just how you like it and test it out. The staff is super friendly and always ready to help. Overall, it's a true paradise for drummers. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you the biggest drums I've ever seen. I have a feeling that neighbors living nearby might not to be thrilled with it. I had an amazing day at Tommen, but now it's time to move on. I've had such a great time in Germany, my trip almost over, but I've got one last stop on the way home. So, I'm finishing my European tour today. Yesterday I left Germany and it was really amazing trip. I love it. I bought a lot of German beer and Club Mate, so I'll have a large supply at home. Today I'm in Budapest. I'll be here around a few days, if I remember right. And today is my birthday, by the way. <laughs> I forgot about it. So I plan to 
explore the city, walk around, maybe visit some museums, I don't know yet. And in a few days I'll be at home already. Budapest is easily one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen. The stunning architecture with its grand historical buildings and the picturesque waterfront creates such a great vibe. I explored the whole city center and as usual stumbled upon some charming local shops that I absolutely adore. And guess what? I even found a few records to add to my collection. What could be a better birthday gift to myself? Check out this adorable cake I got for my birthday. It's time to head back home. It was one of the most amazing trips I've ever had. I visited around 10 cities in just 2 weeks. It's crazy, but in the best way possible. If you enjoyed this kind of video, don't forget to like and drop a comment. See you in the next videos. Bye!